off the fingertips of Sistiego, who pushes it off the bar, and his best save. When I was three years old, I was introduced to the game of soccer because my parents sat me down to watch the 98 World Cup. And unlike most kids, I was just sitting there and I was kind of mesmerized by the game. I would sit there and watch for hours different games and my parents were like, he doesn't want to go out to play, he doesn't want to do anything, he just wants to watch the game. And I kind of fell in love with it then and I've been playing and training ever since. When I was young, we used to live in Mexico City and I started playing with my, with my school friends and it was just a lot of fun. Then when I was nine, we moved to Guadalajara and then that's when I kind of went to the Chivas Academy system. And that's when it all became a little bit more serious. We were doing international tournaments. At 14, we moved to Philadelphia. I was in Philly for three years. And then at 16, 17, I moved to Spain to play for Real Sociedad. So that's when it was all kind of turned real. There was a lot more responsibility. It became a lot more professional. So it's been, a, it's been an interesting journey and I've enjoyed every part of it. Every part of it has led me to meet new people. So it's been, it's been great, to be honest. So when I was young, I would play, I think like everybody, I would play all kinds of positions. But when I was nine years old, I got to, to Chivas. And funnily enough, I, uh, I wore an Iker Casillas jersey to my first day there and had a pair of gloves. So they stuck me in goal and I did well that day. And they were like, you're a keeper? I was like, I guess I am. And since, since then I've been playing keeper and I, I really enjoy the position. So I'm happy that, that I wore that Casillas jersey that day. It'd be awesome to, to be able to watch the Olympics, of course, uh, especially my parents' events. They're always special because it's, it's I mean, obviously it's not like soccer where you watch every weekend that those events kind of come every four years or we watch them every four years at least because they obviously are competing. But uh, being able to get their insight in those specific sports is very, is very cool because you see kind of how their brain works still, even as former athletes. So it's a, I'm excited to be able to watch those events with them and to, yeah, to get to enjoy them. So they've never really tried to give me kind of advice on their sports. It's more been on the competition sides on how they would feel before competition and, and how I feel sometimes before games. And they, they help in that sense to how to manage, let's say pregame nerves or the, how to prepare a competition. So things like that. And that's where they've been the most helpful, I would say. Now that I'm about to have a, a baby daughter, I think they're going to want to come more and more to see to see us. So yeah, my wife, my wife's 40 weeks, so it could be whenever now. So yeah, we're just waiting for, I'm waiting for that call that she tells me that her water broke and to head out and it could be at any time. So yeah, they said that it's going to be a lot of change, but it's going to be all good change. It's going to be a very positive thing in, in both me and my wife's lives. So it's going to be to, to kind of embrace uh, the crazy that's going to come with a newborn baby, but to also Kind of cherish the moments because as kids they told me that we grow up really quick so to be there for every event of their life and be there as much as possible because it's it's kind of what we can give to them you know so i think the biggest thing that i could pass on to them is discipline because i've feel like i've accomplished what i've accomplished through discipline i was never necessarily like the most talented goalkeeper in the world but through discipline i was able to make my way to spain i was able to play in la i was able to play in charlotte and i'm here in san antonio so I think she's being a very disciplined uh, at anything she does. She could be an athlete, she could be a painter, she could be whatever she wants, you know, but whatever she decides to be, I think that just being a very dis disciplined of their profession or at whatever she decides to be is going to be the biggest thing that I can pass on to them.